Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie. And we're at my home. Hey, Mark. What are you doing? What do you mean what am I doing? We're doing a video. We're back from CES now, so you can take off your mask. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I got so used to it there. And I have to tell you, I'm glad I took it off because my glasses are all fogged up. Yeah, so that's always a problem. It is. All right. So last year, CES was virtual. And um, while it was a lot easier to go to, it was pretty boring. So this year, we decided to make the trek to Las Vegas in person. And we drove to Vegas in person. Yep, we did. We decided that we we're going to feel a little bit safer if we drove instead of flying. So we drove nine hours from Sacramento to Vegas. Yeah. And it actually wasn't so bad. No, it was, it was actually a nice drive. The weather was really good, so it worked out really well. Yeah, so it worked out well. So we're really happy to be back at CES talking to people in person. And, uh, you know, I also want to say that the CTA did a really good job of making us feel safe while we were at the conference. So when we all checked in, we got a Binax test kit from Abbott, and Abbott was one of the sponsors of the conference. And so they really encouraged everybody to go and do, go ahead and do a test before they went onto the show floor. And then they just did a really great job making sure that everybody wore their masks and people kind of stayed a little bit apart. And plus, with the smaller crowds, it was really easy to social distance. Yeah, you know, the show was smaller, but I'll have to tell you, it was interesting because all the spots were still there. So one of the things they did was were the companies like the larger companies that pulled out, they put chairs. And I have to tell you, that is the best thing in the world. If you've walked down CS's show floors for days, yeah. you need the place to there rest. There were a so lot good. more places to sit, you know, in between visiting all these booths. So one of the things we do when we go to the show is we actually film in the, in the booth for the company. We film one of their people explaining their products to us. As a matter of fact, the playlist for those are down here in the description. So you can always go to the playlist and see those and hear right from the companies about their products. And you can really see what it's actually like to be at CES this year. All right, so while you're down in the description box below looking for that playlist, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you can find out the next time we do a new video. We really appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look at some of our favorite home tech from CES 2022. It's no surprise there were plenty of air purifiers at CES this year. Our favorite was the Allen Breathe Smart Line. These HEPA air purifiers are some of the quietest on the market, and they come in several sizes that work for your home or your business. At CES, they demonstrated their new Allen monitors that work together with the purifiers and the Allen app to monitor the air quality in every room. You can customize the Breathe Smart to match your decor with four different designer panels. You can buy the Breathe Smart purifiers today, and the Allen monitors will be coming later this year. Wemo plugs and switches were some of the first smart home products we used back in the day. We were pleasantly surprised to see the new Wemo smart video doorbell available for pre-order now. The Wemo doorbell has a clear 4 megapixel camera and a huge 178 degree field of view to allow you to see packages on the ground. The night vision is some of the best we've ever seen on a video doorbell. We especially love that the Wemo smart doorbell works with Apple HomeKit secure video allowing us to store all our video using iCloud and watch who's at the door on our TV via Apple TV's home function. The Bosch Spexor is a mobile smart security device that packs multiple sensors in just a 4.7 inch tall device. The Spexor can monitor noise, motion, air pressure, and air quality and alert you to changes in the environment through its companion app. It runs on rechargeable batteries that last for two to three months, and it has its own eSIM card so you can use it with or without Wi-Fi. Take the Spexor with you when you travel or leave it in your vacation home, storage shed, or in your car. The Spexor is available in the EU now, and Bosch plans to introduce it in the US sometime this year. Sync, the smart home brand from GE Lighting, continues to expand their product line with the introduction of smart home devices beyond their traditional lighting products. In addition to an expanded set of smart bulbs, they've added an outdoor camera and a smart thermostat. They were also one of many companies at CES to formally announce their commitment to Matter, the new smart home connectivity protocol. We especially love the Sync Smart Thermostat. The thermostat can be installed without a common wire, making it compatible with most every home. It works alone and with optional temperature sensors that can be added in multiple rooms to keep them all comfy. Best of all, this solid design and compatibility starts at just $119.99.
the thermostat will be available to order this month. Have you ever bought a new skincare serum or essential oil only to find out that it smells funny or it doesn't work for you? Think of all the packaging wasted, let alone the time and effort that you spent researching and buying it. The Self-Care One is the world's first automated and personalized care system that you can use for your whole family. Use the mobile app to create a user profile and formulation for your preferred solution, and the Self-Care One dispenses it in just the right amount. Maybe you want to sleep better, improve your digestion, or boost your immune system. The Self-Care One gives you about a year's supply of eight pure herbal oils that can cover up to 50 different themes. I used a few drops inside my mask at CES and it gave me a nice little boost for the afternoon. The Self-Care One is available today from their website and they hope to be a major retailer soon. Caltech uses photocatalyst technology to create products to purify air, water, and food. The Caltech LEDs can be used to irradiate bacteria, viruses, and odors. We especially like the Caltech Fresh Food Keeper, a high-tech bread box designed to keep foods fresh longer. I know I'm always looking for a way to keep my avocados and bananas from spoiling. Today, the Caltech Photocatalyst technology is available to buy in a wall-mounted air purifier, deodorizing LED light bulbs, and a wearable portable air purifier that we look forward to trying out soon. Stay tuned for our review. Over the last few years, we've seen smart faucets that work with your voice to deliver exactly how much water you want at the right temperature. But really, do you want to always have to talk to Alexa when you use your faucet? The new U by Moen smart faucet also incorporates touchless sensor control. You can swipe for hot, warm, or cold water, in addition to turning it on and off. Of course, you can also control it with your voice assistant or using the Moen app. It's built for either professionals or DIY home installers. And if you don't have an outlet under the sink, it ships with a battery pack so you can get started right away. It even comes with a model without a handle, which should make for some interesting reactions from guests who want to help with the dishes. Just because your home is smart doesn't mean it can't look good. We Labs has designed a new calm visual interface that works with Alexa through its stunning natural wood Wii board. The Mui board is part of a larger platform that filters out all the technology noise and gives the user control of their home through a minimalist, aesthetically pleasing interface. The board can even recognize handwritten commands and translate it into action. Behind the scenes, the Mui team also intends to support the Matter standard, so in the future, more and more devices could be controlled through their platform. We hope it comes to the U.S. soon. It's not every day we see something at CES that we can't stop thinking about. This year, Novetto knocked us out with their N1 Smart Audio device. We weren't sure what to make of it at first. Is it a speaker? A speakerphone? It works with Alexa, so is it a smart speaker? The N1 is all of those things and none of those things. It's a personal immersive speaker that works without headphones. When I was standing in front of the speaker in the range of the blue circle, I could hear the audio. So I'm going to have you now switch with Mark. I want to see what the... the but Mark, just off to the side, couldn't hear anything. Then, when I stepped in front of it, I could hear it just fine. This is because the Novetto N1 recognizes you through face tracking and transmits the audio waves directly to your ears. The Novetto N1 would be great for many different applications, like immersive gaming, watching TV when everyone else is asleep, or for long days of working from home. And unlike headphones, you're not blocked out from the rest of the world. Your daughter can still hear you call her to dinner when she's playing video games. The Novetto N1 is scheduled to begin shipping to customers before the end of Q1. Have you ever had your body fat measured by a doctor or a nutritionist? The Bella lets you regularly measure your own belly fat anytime and anywhere with an easy to use device that's highly accurate and non-invasive. After you measure, you can use the Bellow app to tailor a highly specific and goal-oriented program to help you lose the fat and keep it off. And you can measure as many times as you want. Bellow is available now for pre-order. Look for a review coming soon. After several years of Alexa and Siri listening to us all over our house, we've become accustomed to it. But there are a lot of people who worry about their privacy so much that they refuse to have smart speakers in the house. Enter Posio. Posio makes two devices, a phone blocker that blocks the microphone while it's charging your phone, and a smart speaker shield that covers your Alexa so it can't hear you. When you want to actually use your voice assistant, Posio allows you to turn off the blocking quickly and easily. I do Posio stop. 
with, you guessed it, a voice command. Well, at least Posio can hear you. We're not sure how practical the Posio is in real life, but it's certainly an interesting technology that we think a lot of people will appreciate. We all want to save water, but who wants to give up their long, luxurious showers? That's where I get some of my best ideas. Unfortunately, the typical 10-minute shower uses about 26 gallons of water, a huge waste. The Rainstick Shower is a Wi-Fi-enabled shower system that saves up to 80% energy and 80% water while giving you twice the flow of a typical water-saving shower. It works like a car wash, capturing, cleaning, and recirculating the water you use for next time. And, yes, they claim the UV filter will get rid of most nasty germs. Let's hope so. The rain stick needs to be professionally installed so it's not a DIY solution, but it would be ideal for new homes or bathroom remodels. You can pre-order it now from their website. If you've ever composted, you know it can be messy. Your food scraps get stinky under the sink and you have to work hard to get the compost to start turning over and generating great stuff for your garden. When I did it years ago, nothing happened in my composter until I added mail order earthworms. The Wrinkle is a home composter that works right in your kitchen to turn your food scraps into nutrient-rich fertilizer. It has its own self-perpetuating Wrinkle Micro that combines with the food and can create compost in as little as two hours. The Wrinkle also has a three-layer filter system to block out the smell and a foot sensor so you don't have to touch the lid, making home composting a lot less icky. The team plans to launch it for pre-order soon and you can sign up for more information from their website. When my grandkids visited last summer, they lived on their iDevices, and we all know someone who's addicted to their phone or tablet. The Tech Break is a fun way to give everyone a regular tech time out in your home, so you can enjoy meals, family time, and restful sleep without having to take away or hide the devices. Just put the tablet or phone in the Tech Break and push one of the preset buttons. The device will be unavailable until the time is up. More than just an iPad locker, the team has really thought through different ways to use it to create healthy routines for kids and parents alike. And don't worry, if it's an emergency, the parents can override the timer with their personal code. Well, let's hope the kids don't know it. Okay, you two, next summer, expect to be testing out our tech break. We've been looking for smart blinds for years, but we've yet to see a high quality blind with future-proof technology. And they're usually outrageously priced. We were pleasantly surprised to find the new smart blinds from Third Reality at CES. Third Reality blinds have a great design powered by four AA batteries in the bottom bracket. You can move them up and down with a button, a remote, or since they use Zigbee, you can easily control them with a compatible hub and your voice assistant like Alexa. It even knows when to stop when it reaches the windowsill, so no calibration needed. Beyond the tech design, the team chose really high quality blackout shave materials that looked nice and would be really effective for bedrooms and living rooms. We can't wait to try them out and hope to review them soon. Instead of giving your young child a tablet or smart speaker, why not give them a fun little story time friend? The Tony Box is a beautifully designed portable kid speaker. It works in conjunction with a wide array of hand-painted characters called Tonys. When your child puts a Tony on top of the box, it comes to life with lots of different stories, songs, and more, all without a screen. Parents and grandparents can get a custom Tony and create up to 90 minutes of personalized content. Tonys also come in a paintable version so your child can make it their own. The Tony box has no screens, advertising, or internet connection, making it safe and fun for kids 3 and up. You can get the Tony box and Tonys from their website or from major retailers. Look for our review coming soon. We first met the Toucan Smart Home team at CES in 2020, and we reviewed their battery-powered video doorbell and outdoor camera later that year. This year, Toucan has redesigned and improved those products and is introducing its new Toucan Security Light Camera, which uses radar-based motion detection instead of a PIR sensor to improve accuracy. It also includes a super bright LED and great night vision, giving you a beautiful, clear view from their Toucan app. Toucan also introduced a new outdoor camera and video doorbell with the radar-based motion technology and a larger battery. The doorbell can be battery-powered or wired in. The security light camera will be available for purchase in February, and the outdoor camera and doorbell will be coming later this year. If you've ever been to a doctor, chances are you've had a urine test. Your pee can tell you all kinds of different things about your health and well-being, 
and Vivo lets you test it right from the comfort of your own home. One of the new Vivo 2.0 strips tracks 11 wellness parameters, including specific vitamin levels, pH, hydration, ketones, and kidney and liver function. Whether you're an athlete looking to improve your performance, following a specific diet, or just interested in finding out if you're drinking enough water, the Vivo app can track your data and give you personalized, actionable advice. You can use Vivo with a monthly subscription or as a one-time purchase with four urine sticks. We brought some sticks home to review and look forward to trying them soon. Don't worry, we won't pee on camera. If you've ever wanted a Star Trek sliding door in your house, now you can get one that's pretty close from way home. The Way automates both interior and exterior sliding doors with a motion sensor, so it will slide open when you arrive and close after you leave. The motor and the wiring are all inside the easy to access frame. You can add almost any sliding door on the track, and it's really fast, almost scary. It's a pretty sophisticated installation, so it would be better to have it professionally installed. Wallbox has been selling home electric vehicle chargers for years, and at CES, they introduced their first bi-directional home charger for the U.S. market, the Quasar 2. Bi-directional means that not only can you charge your car, you can use your car as a battery to power your home. With the blackout mode feature, you can even use your EV to power your home when the power goes out. Since you watched all the way through, we're going to treat you to the weirdest things we saw at CES. Yukai Engineering was showing off two interactive robots. The Kubo, a furry headless cushion that you stroke, and the Amagami Ouch. Ham Ham, a cat-like doll that nibbles on your finger. We're not really sure who or what these are for, but you can already buy the Kubo. If you want to get play bitten, you need to sign up for their newsletter to find out when you can get one. <laughs>